Hey, stay with me. I'm about to give you three specific tips for closing more deals using this thing over the phone right now. These are three sales techniques that I use a lot and I can promise you, you are about to use them too as we walk through how to close more deals with the phone. Who doesn't want to close more deals over the phone? I can tell you. As soon as you adopt these techniques I'm going to share, revenue goes up, income goes up, sales goes up, you help more people. Okay, so let's jump in. Technique number one is, and I haven't talked about this a lot, but I'm telling you, I should have because it's extremely, extremely important, and that is tonality. What type of tonality do you have? Like my tonality right now when I'm talking about videos and when I'm helping you or when I go soft to really get your attention, right? Or when I pick it up to really drive home a point. Okay, you can see the difference in tonality and how it can affect you and everything that you're doing all the time. Okay, but tonality, here's some other things that help along the way with tonality, right? One of the things you have to do is you must smile when you are talking to people. You can feel it, you can see it, even through the phone, I'm telling you. Even though they, might, they may not be able to see it per se, they can hear it in your voice, okay? If we get on the phone right now, you would feel it and hear it, because why? Because smiling is contagious and it creates some energy. You must have energy, have this big time energy that helps you be better over the phone. Okay, so instead of me talking about, like a lot of people talk about um, with tonality, like match theirs, okay? A lot of times I'm trying to get them to match mine. So that's where I think a little bit different on the fly when it comes to like being in control of your tonality is okay, are you changing it up? Think about this, okay? Would you rather jump on a roller coaster ride where the ride's like this? Or would you rather jump on a roller coaster ride where it's like freaking this, man, right? Or even some upside down turns and everything else, okay? You'd rather the below, correct? The same thing in a sales process. You don't wanna be on this boring, monotone, freaking flat line about to die call. Neither does the prospect, okay? Are you fun to listen to? What type of tonality are you using? And what can you do immediately? I wanna know in comments below, what can you do immediately to, to drive up your specific tonality right now, okay? So think about that. Talk about smiling, energy, in control. Tonality is extremely important to you being better. Okay, and we're talking about all this right now because I've literally, tomorrow, okay, so if you see this too late, I'm sorry. I've got a millions by phone live virtual workshop with hundreds of agents right now. It's only $49 because I want you to help you close more doors of phone and be fantastic at working the phone, okay? If there's one thing that is the most valuable sales tool on planet Earth, it is the phone, man. It is the phone, okay? How good are you at using the phone? It's the phone, and it's so important, okay? Number two is questions. Are you asking the right questions, right? Are you op asking open-ended questions, okay? When it comes to questions, are you also uncovering their pain points, right? Like I always talk about problems and solutions, okay, to keep me in control. I always talk about literally using questions to find their problems so that I can start offering solutions. I talk through that in my sales process pitch, right? You guys have seen that. Are you asking good questions? Are you asking open-ended questions? Like when I'm selling over the phone and I'm going from fact-finding to actually from warming up to fact-finding, I'm going to ask some questions like, hey, we got you thinking about this. Okay, how long have you been looking into this? Why is this so important to you? What are you looking to accomplish with this, right? Like these specific questions, freaking legendary, are you using these right now, every single call? Okay, because what a lot of people do too is they make the mistake of they ask a question and then they skip and they move on and they start telling, okay? I ask a question, what I do is I ask a question, I get an answer. I go ask another question, I get an answer. I go ask another question, I get an answer. Right, And so this is the visualization of doing that because what I'm doing is I'm going deeper into that specific question so that I'm getting the answers. And what that's doing is it's allowing me to have more information. Okay, The more information you have about the prospect, the easier it is to close them. Yes or yes, right? 100%. And that's how you get to where you close more deals over the phone and utilize this sales tool immediately. Okay, Then number three, after you go from tonality Good questions. Okay, I want you to rate yourself on these, by the way. One to 10. How good are you doing on tonality? Asking the right questions. Okay, one to 10. How good are you doing asking the right questions? And then three moves us into actually closing, by the way. Okay, that's a horrible circle. Okay, that's at closing. 
closing individuals. One of the things I love to do a lot is I will use what I call hypotheticals, okay, hypotheticals, right? I will also get to where when I'm closing, I'm using things like um, one to 10, because th this also reminds me of like, what if? Like, I love like, what if, right? When you're ever asking people questions over the phone and you're asking like, for example, if you're asking your, your, your spouse where he or she wants to go to dinner and they say, I don't know, what do you say? Like if you were to ask a prospect, you're on the phone, you're trying to close them, you're trying to sell them, and you need, to, sir, do you have any life insurance or do you know where your policy is? What are they gonna say? Everybody says, I don't know. Because why? Because it's human nature to say, I don't know. When you get an I don't know, use a hypothetical and a what if. So when I hear that, if you knew where it was, where would it be? Okay, or if you had to choose a place to eat, what would you say? Or would you rather Mexican, Chinese, or Italian? What do you think of those three? Uh, probably. Definitely not Chinese. Okay, so Mexican or Italian, right? Yes. Uh, which one are you leaning more towards? Mexican or Italian, right? I'm funneling the answers down in this funnel from the top, right, with a question. And then I'm getting some silly answer and I don't know or whatever. And I continue to ask questions until I funnel down until I get the answer that I want or I at least get someone to, to do what? To make a decision, right? This is the funnel I call of getting people to make decisions when you're utilizing the phone and you're trying to get people to close over the phone. Right, now think about this, and I'm gonna go over this and also like 80 other pages in a workbook and like six or seven hours on this Millions on the Phone workshop tomorrow. And what I'm gonna talk through is how you can utilize questions, how you can utilize tonality, how you can get to where in the close, you're asking some additional questions like I'm talking to you about now. Because when you get to the end, and they're like, well, I don't know, man, you know, I'm not really sure. Well, help me out. On a scale of one to 10, one being, dude, I definitely don't want to own it. 10 being, I'd love to. Where do you currently sit? Help me out. Like those are the types of questions that will at least get them to start to move in your direction. It'll give you information on what you need to do to help them move forward, right? Because closing over the phone, what we're doing, the whole goal of working the phone, by the way, the entire goal is to do what? The entire goal is to get them to make a decision and to help them. The, the, the three things that can help you at helping people make decisions and getting better at getting closer to the goal, by the way, okay, because you gotta have a goal when you go into a call, right? You gotta have a target, you gotta have a mission, you gotta have an objective. That's what it should be, by the way, okay? However, the things that will help you get closer to your mission and your goal, not only the Millions on the Phone Workshop tomorrow, which the link's in the description below, and I wanna see you there. Also, even if you're watching this video later, tonality, questions, and closing deep. If you love this and you're like, man, dude, I want more. I'm hungry. Okay. Five steps to becoming a freaking millionaire. It's right there. Click on it. I'll see you. Accept responsibility. Who here has a tendency to blame someone else? I'm raising my hand too. Okay. And if you're not, we'll, we need to fix